Welcome to the morning meeting, building John Boy Media. My name's Jimmy, I'm head of content or whatever my title is. Maddie, the goof gaff master manager is here. And today we have a special guest that you guys aren't allowed to know unless you read the title already, which would make sense. He's off screen, off screen the whole time, like a, like a gang movie, gangland. Like, oh, when I started, doing, that's what you have to do. Just close you just now I've been I, I can exactly. talk. Yeah, but you have to disguise your voice. Uh, well, Maddie does that in post. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, Maddie. <laughs> here are the topics. We're going to talk with Jack Doyle from uh, the Ice Gang. And then we had our first breakdown that we sold in a new way. I shot another pilot episode for a potential sponsor. Cash out update. It's been pitched. If you're curious about that last week. Three media appearances or potential media appearances are happening. Uh, Ball and Play League is, we're a week out, I think, from people flying here and getting really set up. Um, breakdown output's been good. And then some music and movies if we get to it at the end. Boom. Intro song. We don't have one. Did you want to I was about to harmonize. That's really good. How are you? Thanks for doing it. Thanks for being on the morning meeting. You're welcome. Wow. I'm, get, happy, get I'm really happy to shy. be here. I get really shy. I did shy. When I interview people. You're shy. I am shy. You're We're very, we're kind of similar. Yes. Zoe's more the outspoken person. Jay, Jake's the outspoken yes, person. Yes, very similar. You're more like being in your laptop. Yeah. Amongst a crowd. I, sometimes. Small talk is my least favorite thing. Same. In the world. Although the weather does play. Death. Now that I live the in the weather, a, you know, people always talk about the weather being like the worst small talk. Yeah. But it's yeah. every, it's like happening to everybody. So it does. Yeah. Because now that I live in like this, a suburban neighborhood and I got to talk to my neighbor when like we're oh, both yeah. pulling our garbage out, like what else are we going to say? Yeah. Our upstairs neighbor has a baby and I just say nice baby every time. That's nice. Is a baby loud? No, it's just a nice one. Okay. That's good. Bad baby suck. It's yeah. colic. What? means they cry a lot oh for no reason it's a harsh term isn't that what it's called i think it's called that yep yeah that's maddie hey. first words of the episode yeah and i don't first I words ever read what i just agreed i don't know if that's the right word but i oh. did say yes so that you would feel good baby yeah. is colic c-o-l-i-c when a babe when a healthy baby cries for a very long time for no obvious reason hmm. It's just like, yeah, oh shit. My next baby better not be colic. The first one isn't. No, it, we got super lucky. James is like the happiest, most easygoing. Yeah. Smiley. He's a good baby. baby. Yeah, he's good. He's kind of a, a mayhem now. Did you see? I posted an Instagram yesterday of what we've been doing, and Nikki responded to it and was like, I never wanted to have a kid more. Throwing rocks? Just throwing rocks oh, in the fire yeah. pit. He loves it. He holds my hand and he walks me to the fire pit. Oh, that's the best. And then he grabs a bunch of rocks and he said, tell, usually he sits on my lap and like the piles on my lap. But lately he's like matured. He's like, right. wants his own seat. And we just throw rocks at the fireplace. Yeah. I'm like, this is awesome. Just wait till there's like a pond and you can get a little yes. splash. Yes, go skipping rocks. Yeah. That would be awesome. Oh, you get in early. Are you in early just to be on the show today or would you have come in early? I like early in the week when I'm in the office because a lot of times we're in the warehouse and we'll have kind of later starts for those. So when I'm in the office, I like to get in early and then do all like what I have to do. Yeah. Until well, like I do. 10. Yeah. And then the rest is shenanigans and like talking to people about ideas, which I really like doing. This literally was my yesterday. Although me and Nikki filmed two Cricket 22 videos. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ours were bad. The second one... The first one's dumped. The second, yeah. <laughs> like, yes, one hundred percent. The yeah. second one, Alex is editing it right now. Yeah, and I said, "Hey, Jack and I kind of weren't entertaining. No. We were just like quietly playing video yeah. games, like it was our lunch break, and we were tired." Yeah. You and I trying to learn a game, me trying to learn a sport, yeah, playing a video game. So I said, "If this is bad, just you can like just let me know and scrap it." But yeah, he's been editing it. Yeah, he's been editing it. He said his first pass got it to 24 minutes and that he'll then take out the extras to get it under 20. Hey. That's it good. is funny that it almost like I rope-a-doped you, didn't know defense at all, and then just got you out a billion times. Yeah. 
That sucks. And the one that is cut, I dominated. Yeah. So I mean, me and Nikki, w- me and Nikki played yesterday, and we got to get the amp hours, so we were just live on amp. People were just listening to us playing. That's crazy. I wonder if that was a wild experience for like I think it was like five or ten people hanging out because I truly forgot we were uh, live. Yeah, I f- I felt a little bad because some people in the chat said like, "What is the point of this?" And I was like, "Well, well yeah, to and those people hours. are still in the chat. The point is." Um, this is the last week of AMP, and we got to get our right. AMP contract. We're getting our hours in. They also got to sit in the ball and play meeting. I mean, that's kind of a cool perk if you're into yeah. what this is. We just put it in the middle yeah. and just chat. For the six people that stuck around for the Cricket 22 that then got rewarded with the ball and play meeting. Yeah, if you like behind it, the yeah. scenes, that's that. Okay, you have to fill up 20 seconds of talk while I go get something from the printer. All right. I hate our printer, and we're going to start with that. Yeah. Uh, how, how was your morning? It was good. I hate small talk. Yeah. Well, to be honest, the this woman got up to get off the train, mm-hmm. and I mean, maybe my shirt got a little bumped. Okay. And she said sorry so loud. It's like you don't have to. Now everybody's looking like at I what hate. happened. You I have, have a weird that. thing where I don't say I don't like when people say sorry, and I hate when people say bless you when I sneeze. What do they say? God bless you. Same. I hate it the same. What if they say Gesundheit? That's even weirder. I'm allow. Yeah. You, I'll, I'll allow you one. God bless you. But if I'm on a sneezing fit, yeah, and you try to say like it after every time, right? Well, you're being. I'm dealing. Now you want I'm attention. I'm dealing with something over yeah. here. <laughs> let me. Yeah. Let me. Get or if I'm this. on the train trying to hide it, and I'm like, yeah, and then someone's like, bless you. Like, COVID you just really changed sneezing on planes. Yeah. Or trains. Sneezing anyway. on a plane. Snakes on a train. Sequel. The prequel. The prequel. got scrapped. Right. We need to up this before we go to air. Yeah. Have you seen the junkyard that we found next to the warehouse with the train? Is Dan, this is where Dan's been getting scraps from? Maybe. Yes. Have you seen it? He's been talking about it. It's nice. It's just a bunch of stuff? No, it's empty. Well, there's the whole thing. Can you build an outside blitz ball spot? Yeah, we're shooting on Thursday afternoon there. Because there's a skyline of the city. Yeah. And just an empty flat field. Field? Yeah, it's like grass. Whoa. And there's no one there except maybe an uh, unhoused person. Occasionally. This? You found that really quick. Is it this area? Uh, it, it's under a bridge. Right here, then? And it's on the water. Yeah, probably right there. This is water? No, 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 this is the water over here. Yeah, it's, it's surrounded by water under bridges. View of the skyline. It's crazy. It's in between, like, a train track and a bridge. Are you allowed to... There's no trespassing signs. Oh, I think it's here. Then, this lot. Maybe that's grass now? Or here? I don't know if it would look that big on okay. Google Maps. It's a walk from the warehouse? Yeah, probably like a three-minute walk. Well, the best part is the walk because it gets real scary. <laughs> and then it opens up to fun. Oh, I think you're right here, then. So this is the warehouse, right? Yeah. You come back here, and you're you're walking under this bridge, and you're going like right here. Yes. Because it looks like there's a path this way. And then you go up to the right. So it's like a here. It's right there. Yeah, I think it's right in that dirt area, but there's some grass. That's awesome. That's cool. Cool. The perks. Yes. Um, for people that have no idea. Mm. Who you are, and they're yeah. like, "Who the fuck is this guy right now?" Right. That's all they're saying over and over. Yeah. I hate How do you explain that. what you do or who you are? I do content here at Jumbo Media, and for We Got Ice LLC, just got an LLC. Nice. I hate it. Doing. I hated getting it. Yeah, I didn't do any of that when we did it. Yeah, Lorenzo did that. Did you just do Clicky? I think so. Delaware. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe. Most companies are LLCs or Delaware. Yeah. I learned about that. I don't know if we did it because we have like an apartment. And it's, we don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, I do content. Started mainly on TikTok. Grew a following there. And now YouTube and Instagram and all such things. What you guys have done, like TikTok, for those that don't know, you posted probably your first video and it got crazy numbers. 
My yeah, yeah, yeah. In if a different account, but I did that, yeah. Yeah. Well, they do that. Like, if Maddie right. wanted to start a new TikTok right now yeah. and just take a video of a sandwich on a street, it would get 10,000 views. Yeah. And then TikTok knows that they're building a drug. Get you addicted, yeah. Yeah. That's what happened to me. I posted, I brought a push lawnmower to a state park, and I was close shot, me pushing it, and then I panned up to the whole park, and I said, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> and it got, like, 2 million views. My first ever video, and I was like, well, I'm addicted now. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's a funny, like, that's a concept you thought of? Yeah. Just, and it was like 10 seconds long or whatever? It was like four seconds. It's more of like a vine in my head. Yeah, it was very viney. Well, yeah. that was... Because those were six seconds at the start. Yeah. It was like, this... be funny in six, what is it, six seconds? Six seconds, yeah. yeah. It was nuts. This was early 2019. So okay. it was it was more viney than, like, TikTok had become TikTok. Yeah, it was like 30 seconds then at that point. Yeah. Like that. Did you make it on... Your personal TikTok? Yeah, my first ever account was called Junkyard Jack. <sighs> and I drew, I made like 10 videos on it. I tried Don't to be... tell Dan that nickname. Why? Because now you're in a junkyard. Well, I still kind of like it. Okay. <laughs> Is it still active profile? I think I deleted it in like 2020. When I, because I, that's when I thought you could only have one account. Because I only like putting all my beans in one filet. Yeah. So I tried to grow that. It didn't really work. And then I started doing baseball stuff on another account. And got Rope Zoe in? Yeah, I tried to do it solo under different names. And then I was like, I don't, I'm too shy to be on camera. I don't know what to do. So it's then we just started a podcast. Yeah. Too shy to be on camera. I don't know what to do. There you are. Found you. I'm on camera. I'm trying to get the chat up on my phone just in case people are asking questions. Um. <laughs> the, on, the one that says, question for Jack. Mm. What's the plan with the hair? Hmm. I never. I don't have a single plan. You got to cut. Ap- it got really long, and then yeah. you cut it to like uh, what, like chin length, or maybe, or yeah. not shoulder off the shoulders. Yeah. And I, now it's kind of. Does your hair grow fast? So fast. Because now it's kind of on your shoulders again. I. It's. It won't stop growing. Not kinda. When's the last time you had short hair? Like, like my whole life. I. It was a quarantine thing. Ah. So my whole life, I'd never gone long. I was forced to get it long, mm. and then I didn't cut my hair for like a year, and that just happens to be when we started blowing up on TikTok, so then everyone said, long hair guy, so oh, now I can't cut it. Oh, wow. But I'm not like a long hair guy. It, it doesn't, I mean, Jack doesn't post a ton on Instagram, but wow. it's it's a one swipe to find short hair Jack. Yeah. Right. Like, oh. never. I never had it, but now it's like part of the Wow. Thing. Like, when I tuck my hair up, people are like, whoa. Yeah. And did I'm you, like, that did was... you wa- hear what we said on the Easter video? I did. And he's my favorite artist. Hozier? Yeah. Really? Is that a is that a? Gap? That's the truth. No. The truth? I saw yeah. him live. Really? Yeah. He yeah. Ju- I wanted to get uh, the garden tickets, but they sold out instantly. He's doing the garden now? Madison Square. Really? Yeah. Sold it out. Because he, like, stormed onto the scene in, what was that, 2014? 15 yeah. take me to church take me to church sweet cherry wine is that the name of it or not sweet cherry wine cherry wine the, cherry wine sweet yeah, cherry yeah. wine is the country song yes uh like sweet cherry wine. that's a good summer song which one uh sweet cherry wine oh cherry wine not a good talking about song. like uh, being 16 and he was off for college <laughs> that's a very 16 early it's a country song um yeah no 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 she was 16 Mm. And he was off for college. Oh, sophomore, senior situation. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Love. Yeah. Like strawberry, not cherry wine, strawberry wine. Strawberry Stra- Fields. Strawberry wine. Strawberry Fields. I live by Strawberry Field in uh, California. It smelled really good when you drove past it. Just re- like really delightful. I would roll my windows down and smell the strawberries as I drove past it. Smell like field. strawberries? Yeah. <laughs> nice. It was like, oh, that was weird. Yeah, that's good. Most other things that grow on the ground just smell like the ground for a while. Right. Which can be good. Yeah, like when you go to like so, when you go to a beach and there's coconuts hanging from the trees, and it just smell like coconut everywhere. No, so you got to cut them open and carve them up. Probably use the seeds are on the outside. That's my theory. You like Hozier? Yeah. Do you like my sister got me into him, and she, she now lives in Wales. Ooh. And he's in the U.S. when she's there, and when he's vice versa. So, and when, if he's listening. Do you like James Vincent McMorrow? Never heard of him. He's another Irish singer that sings like slow stuff like him. Mm. He's got a song called uh, We Don't Eat that I think maybe you'd like. We Don't Eat. James Vincent. 
I feel like I've McMorrow. heard James. Does he not go by his last name a lot? There's a cricketer named James Vincent, and my name is James Vincent. Really? Yeah. So maybe that's why. I'm going to play you seven seconds to tell you what it sounds like. Is your last initial O or B? O, B. Both. You do both. You would if your family didn't ditch their heritage and take the O out. I was never an O. You weren't, but Impossible. someone in your family was. Probably. Definitely. Definitely, maybe. If you see names like Doyle or Mor- or Moran yeah. or whatever, they all just took the O off when they yeah. came to the U.S. Because people were really mean to the Irish. I know. No Irish allowed. Irish must not apply. This is James Vincent McMorrow. I got to pause. I only, At six, only, yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's yeah. like... Mm. I really like sad songs, but then they make me sad. I like. So I, I just like lyrics that make you think. Yeah. Sometimes they're not sad. It's just like, but it's... I'm thinking. I think I'm the exact opposite because I don't know any lyrics to anything. I just like the sound of things. Mm, like a baby. Yeah. Some people don't listen to lyrics. I don't know. Like my favorite song of all time, I don't know any of the lyrics to. What's your favorite song of all time? I don't know specifically. Okay. That's the name. But what? That's the name of it's, it? It's a hoser unreleased. Yeah. Okay. I saw him and he was, you ever heard of the band Houndmouth? No. Oh. They re- I actually really, really enjoy Houndmouth. They did one album that was, uh, they went away from their sound and it was awful. Mm. And they like tried to poke fun about it. Like we, the reviews are bad. You guys don't like this. I was like, nah. And then they made another album after that. That went right back to their sound. I was like, Oh, okay. You guys yeah. got it. And they realized they had uh, a female singer and I saw her and uh, oh, nice. a Hozier making out on stage. Well, I think they were dating. I think they were dating or they were just hanging out on tour. Um, their mouths. my, my buddy, Nick Proch, you might have met. Mm-hmm. Um, his uncle is like one of the <clears throat> heads of uh, Newport Folk Festival. So I would go. I went like three or four years in a row, and I, we would get VIP backstage and just be in the artist tent and hang out. So like I've met a lot of just in passing. Mm, that's really cool. Yeah. And we you would see so many because there would be like 20 bands playing. And Hozier was there. They did the main stage that year. Who else? Um, another one that we like talked to was uh, Shaky Graves. You heard of him? Yep. He was cool. He was cool. He was wearing like jeans rolled up. And um, is there a new term for wife beater? Just a tank top? White tee? Uh, like, but the, the tank top, like the undershirt tank top stuff. My mom calls them guinea tees, and then in the early 2000s, they called them beaters, but I don't know. Both of those aren't really nice no. terms. We need short beaters. Mm. Yeah, still short for something that's not great. Right. Um, you know what I'm talking about, though? Yeah. He was wearing one of those, and then he said to us, all right, I got to perform soon. I, I got to get out of my bathing suit. <laughs> And he was like half joking, half serious. But I always remember that because me and my me and Nick were like bathing suit, wearing jeans. And it's it's, it's kind funny. of funny. Um, all right. Well, now we've talked music. Oh, you know what? This was on my music section of the show that I was trying to print out so you could read the little bullet points I right. put. Uh, I've been listening to a playlist called John Lennon's Jukebox. Hmm. And it's like a portable jukebox he would carry around with him when Beatles went on tour in the 60s and all the shit he was listening to. And it's like happy music because I always listen to sad music. And I found a way to just, it's like 50s rock, like Chuck Berry Mm. and then some Motown and some like, so if anyone else wants a cool playlist, John Lennon's Jukebox. Yeah, I might need that to, for, I like a happy commute. But then I go through my like songs and it's like, well, now I'm sad on a train. Yeah, And being sad on a train is easy. It's exactly yesterday I walked from the train to the office and instead of listening to Boy Genius or Phoebe Bridgers or even Isbell, like slow stuff. I played this and I was kind of like had a hop to my step yeah. in the morning. It's cool. I'll play you some. Six seconds. Six seconds. I mean, already. Already. Like that song. You, yeah. If I hear that, I might buy a muffin from one of the guys. Look at this song. <laughs> Me walking through the street. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've been in a good mood. Yeah. John Lennon's jukebox. I want to hit like, like a beach ball in the air. Because like, like Chuck Berry and Jerry Lewis, they're big enough that like you know their song, rock around the clock yeah. tonight, or like Maybelline and shit. But like there's some others that probably in the 70s, no one knew who they were. Yeah. John Lennon did. So you subscribed already? I saw you ra- race to your phone, Manny. When? When I said the playlist and you raced yeah. to your phone and hit 
like and oh like, yeah save yeah no, he's blocking he's blocked when did in, when did tiktok like blow up blow up was it one video or was it like oh every day we're getting like five thousand uh it, it was pretty slow but at the scale now there's one specific day we did a stretch of like spider tech stuff that was really big for us where I went on vacation and then middle of the day I looked and we'd gotten like 25,000 followers that day. Spider Tech? Yeah. It's I did the a biggest Spider Tech baseball video ever. Yeah. I did a Spider Tech review and then we did wiffle ball stuff with Spider Tech, which we really had to milk, which I felt bad because people thinks people thought it actually helped. And Same I Same when to, we did Blitzball was awful. Yeah, it's like no, when I did it on my hand like we're done because I can't pitch anymore. We hurt our arms. From the spider tag? When we did it with the spider. back alley. Yeah. Because you were throwing air. You were just throwing your arm as hard as you can because yeah. the ball was not uh, an object that you were getting any like pushback. Not that you do. Right. But it really hurt. Now you'd probably be fine because we throw way too many blitz balls. Probably. That was like we were bad. We were like sore all the time. I mean, a bit more blitz ball throwing shape now. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then you guys were doing live streams. You were doing a podcast. Mm-hmm. When, before we chatted with you. The podcast, I think, is... What, Kyle? Does Kyle ever, like, remind you that he's the one that put you on, like, told me and yes. Jake? Yeah, we, he's, we're... He's constant? Is he's he our savior. About he says that? No, I say that about him. He's oh, okay. way too humble about everything. He'll drop it a few times. Really? Yeah. Okay. He hasn't to me. But he just... So I think just like messaged us and said, "Yeah, you guys should check these guys out. Yeah, they're like they're like you." We had him on our podcast, mm. which was probably a bad episode, <laughs> I would imagine. But we just talked to him about like running a big baseball account, and then it was probably like a couple months later, we were talking to you guys. He told crazy. me to check it out, and you guys shit talked your goldfish in like the first episode, yeah. and I laughed really yeah. hard. I think Zoe just dropped, uh, like, hope everyone's having a good day, not you, Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's pretty good. Just how casually you were shit talking. We went through so many Wilsons. It's heartbreaking. Jake and I, since college, have always found shit talking animals really funny. Yeah. Like, you just see a bird and you're just like, you're garbage. Yeah. You're a piece of shit. (laughs) Um, Or we would go to, like, our friend's house in college who had a dog. And, like, when the owner was away, we'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Like, just whispering insults to a dog. Flipping off. It was very funny to us. Um, because like they're not insulted, no, they're dogs or birds. So that made me laugh, and then I think I DM'd you guys right away, and I was like, "Let's," because at that point we got kicked out of the alley, and we needed to do interesting back alley at bats. Yeah, and we didn't, we didn't like have guests on our podcast, or we still didn't have like forums that were like big guest yeah. spots, and we were needed to collab more and shit. And we're like, oh, this one works. We were like super, not selective, but like nothing ever made sense. Like, right. That makes sense. Yeah. Kind of, we got, I think it was really lucky, really right place, right time, because we had just, like that summer, we had just taken off doing wiffle ball stuff. Yeah. And then you guys needed jazz for wiffle ball related yeah. things. Yeah. Because we had, we did Hudson Valley first. Hmm. I think so. And Brewers was pretty early too, right? Well, the Brewers got booked first. That's crazy. So we before we played anywhere but the alley. Yeah. Oh, and you had to lead up to it. And we were it. like, we need a lead up to this. Yeah. So Yankee Stadium wasn't first. Um, old Yankee Stadium. And maybe because we got kicked out of the alley and just so, went to a park. But but we did the the minor league stadium because we were going to go play on the Brewers Stadium, and I was like this is a big jump yeah. for our audience. We need to kind of like make this make sense a little bit. And we were doing an event with Hudson Valley where we were just doing it. We did like a meet and greet and did a vlog and tried all their food. And I texted the sales team. I said, see if we can play football on their field or blitz ball on their field. Cause, and if they have any players that will play with us. Yeah. Cause then it made sense. Like, Oh, I wanted the audience. But they're, we wanted to make the audience not upset we weren't in the alley anymore because we knew that was like the general thing, but we couldn't do it. They told us like, the maintenance guy was like, I'll get fired. And I, Damn. yeah, that was when I was like, okay. I mean, I went up like through management and I showed them videos. They saw us diving and shit and they're like, can't do it. And I was yeah. like, I'll pay you. And they're like, no, we just can't. <laughs> like, it's like, a... and then uh, we went out there to like warm up and Mario was like, if, if, if you're going to get, I'm going to get fired if you do this again, Rick, fuck. So we were trying to build up 
make the audience accept we were not going to be in the alley and make it like a, f- but we're going to do fun shit. Yeah. So we did old Yankee stadium, which was maybe the most miserable shoot. I don't know if you watch those games yeah. that we've ever done. Hot sand, 100 hot, no shade wind blowing at you. Not in good shape. Yeah. Not like warming up our arms. Cause we're like, all right, we got an hour. Let's go play. Like yeah. you didn't have time. Playing, now I warm up for 40 minutes. Playing blitz ball or wiffle ball in a dirt field where there's no perspective, no background, it like makes me shudder in fear. Yeah. Because you're just throwing into the wind. Yeah. Like when they do it on the on the beach. Yeah. Like, like uh, Como or them. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? That sucks. Yeah. When we went to NASCAR, that was the hardest part because they just put us in the middle of a field. And like when there's no backstop, I have no perspective. Yeah. We're just in the middle of a racetrack. I'm just trying to hit a little thing. That's why people bet the overs. In the final four, when they go to the big arenas, yeah, because the perspective's different, and people, the shooters start missing their shots because they're not in basketball arenas anymore. The depth behind, and that's why when they went to London, remember when they went to London and Purcello and Tanaka gave up six earned runs each because yeah. the the backstop was so much farther away that they like didn't they know. know to do, yeah. Same with when we had Dale Scott umpire instead of the zone, we were all like, "Wait, how hard do I throw?" This? Yeah, yeah. It's really weird how much that changes. But anyway, so we, we did. That and then we did Hudson Valley, which was fun. We met Bossy and Kmac there, and then we did. We were going to the All Star Game in Denver, so we did Red Rocks. That was a crazy shoot because we. Did you come on that? No, Rob you, Scirocco did. No, it's just you two and Zach. I thought. I think Rob Scirocco came as well. Okay. I think we left at six thirty in the morning. Yeah, I remember that. And we fell asleep at three because we were drinking and hanging out all night with like a. You know, everyone that was like a real party trip. I felt every night we like hung out. We're like, no, let's get this done. That's why Jake's always good. If I think of a crazy idea like that, he's like, let's do it. And like, he's hung over a shit. Probably worse than me. Definitely. I actually, I probably get, I drink less than him, but get a worse hangover. Yeah. I just don't drink as much. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and then there was no footing. So we were throwing like 20 miles per hour. Yeah. Sucked. Anyway, then we played you guys. That was fun. That was like a cool setup. That was fun. I watch that now, and I, we're like joking, like we know each other pretty well. We had just met. Yeah. Like first Jake, time ever. Yeah, like Jake's like shit talking. Yeah, to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of my favorite lines. I still think Jake's saying the qu- queen, the queen, 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 because he just fucked up. Yeah. Queen my the uncle's Jake. the queen of this town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> that the oh. Homer hit right to you. Yeah. Can't make that up. That was wild. Unless you do. Sometimes you get lucky, like speed blitz while Penn and catching that first thing. Yeah. What's your perspective of that whole day? Or like that whole when we reached out? It was crazy. Um, That day was chaos. Because at that point, we were fully like just starting our senior year in college. So I was like, oh, we got a test tomorrow. I think Lorenzo like skipped a test or whatever he did. I was like, we're we're going to play blitz ball. Sorry for your English degree. <laughs> and then we show up and... Lorenzo, like, has, his family's crazy. He's never, like, left the state, yeah. essentially. So we're driving down to Spooky Town. What's it called? <laughs> Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Spooky Town. Yeah. We've been to New York, like, one time. And we get the GPS, and we climb up, like, a mountain. Wrong spot. Mm. But we're early. So we're just, like, hiking through with, like, a net. We're like, what? what's happening? And then we get to the right spot, and we're like, there's no way this is... The right spot and then Wait. tom prizeman comes walking up and it's yeah. like we're playing here I'm like, All yeah, right. wait a minute how did you find that place i thought you drove to them and like they knew no we no we like literally did okay the episode's coming out during halloween let's find an abandoned building oh to play God. at yeah and then we did okay you're coming from here we're coming from here this general radius is the middle that's uh equidistant to travel yeah. and erica found it was like a water plant, abandoned water plant. Yeah. Building. But there was a real dam. <laughs> there was a real dam. Yeah. And then it was an abandoned water plant building. And we were like, that's it. Yeah. That's good. This is wild. And then it wasn't really Halloween y. It was just like kind of a game. Well, it got released on Halloween. Yeah. But we didn't really play into that at all. No. And we're in the second win. game, we had like a 45 minute delay due to batteries. Yeah. I Thinking think- about. That shoot versus the warehouse now is crazy how quick it. I mean, that was like a mainly GoPro ran shoot. That ended the 
the GoPro era, the the traveling to places and playing series. Yeah, like I think we came home from that, and we were like, we need to get a warehouse. Jake That's actually crazy. said, like, let's get a warehouse. We'll do, we'll, like, keep inventory there, do other stuff. And I was like, oh, we can do back eye bats. Back eye bats was going crazy, selling for decent money. Where it may, if we did one a week, we we broke even on the warehouse. If we did no renovations to it, like we did right. really just empty warehouse, and then it just kept growing and growing and growing. Yeah, to where, like, I wanted to ask your perspective. You're there every week. Yeah, that was a shitty warehouse. If you watch Blitzball Battle One. To now, like if you look at when Blitzball Battle Three comes out, it's yeah, nuts. And it's also like you're in Zoe's home. You guys are there way often. Yeah, I was talking to Zoe about this the other day. Like I'm trying to not be used to it. We're there so much, and it's become just like a facility. But I'm still trying to remember. Like we're just showing up, and this is like gym class. Yeah, in the mafia area of Jersey City. So like when you just walk in those doors, like we can do anything here, and like it's an indoor wiffle ball field in the city. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. And there's tech now. Yeah, I mean, that's... It's, like, having that perspective is... Yeah. Always good. Jake and I, I think, are good at that. Is like, every now and then, we'll just text you, like, what's going on? Yeah. And, uh, like, one inning league when when you and Zoe won. And Zoe was, like, so happy. Yeah. And, the, and then, like, I was, like, crying for Zoe because I was so happy. Yeah. And then, like, Jake texted me. He was like, look what we built. Like, that was crazy. Yeah. I think because I was upset I lost again. But I, I get upset for five minutes. That was, I was okay yeah. with that because it wasn't embarrassing. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the the losing is shame that you feel so sad about losing because you know it's a warehouse, but the emotions are very real. Yeah, because you get cooped up for like three days. Yeah. I'm interested with ball and play coming up, how we get there and having so many new people that are like professional athletes, like joining a team. Yeah, if it's they're the going to get wrapped people. up in it. I hope out of the six professional cricket players that are playing, I hope three get wrapped up in it. Yeah. Like, want to win. Like, have moments where they let out a fist pump, and you're like, oh, ha, ha, gotcha. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you have, like, Ploof and other MOB guys, when and Ploof was into it when the warehouse looked like a warehouse. Yeah. And now it's a lot better. So I think... When Ploof won two, his celebration is real. Yeah. Like, he... Was spraying champagne with Vinny, and he's like, "Fuck, that's that's cool." Yeah. Can't imagine what a World Series is like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and same with uh, floorball when uh, that team won, and they yeah. knew they were going to win. Right, they were destroying everybody, but we gave them a game. We were tied with a minute left. Uh, Van Gate, the goalie, was like, "I really celebrated." So he told me after he's like, "I like really jumped up and down yeah. when we won." I'm like, "That's crazy." I think it's the no windows. No windows. <laughs> You're just tra- there's no world. It's like a social experiment. That's what we. That's what we. I didn't like about Blitzball Battle Three, which is coming out soon. And yeah. the, the end product's amazing. Yeah. But the in experience was a little different because it was five days. It was really long. And we had big gaps where people are doing like their regular job in between. Yeah. So th- for ball and play, we're going back to it's Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday. No regular job in between. This is what's happening. When you have people doing their regular job, it makes you. F- like the players feel like it's not as important. Like if I'm thinking about like, oh, I got to edit tonight. I got to yeah. post this video. I yeah. got to hit this ad. Then it's like, oh, dude, should I dive for this ball? Yeah. I have to do that. I have to go home and like make breakdowns all the time. Or like, Because yeah. I don't do the hotel, so I go home and like do. Like it's very weird to leave the warehouse and then go home and be like, it's from that. It's the same exact day as if I yeah. came here. Katie's yeah. like, we're eating dinner together. Yeah. I'm putting James bath time, bedtime, and all that. I'm like, oh, I'm in a different place over there. Yeah. I always talk to my girlfriend about that where I don't, she'll be like, oh, how's your day? And it's always like, oh, it was good. We did this. But the days are so drastically different. Like sometimes it's just me, Lorenzo, and Tech Dan building a strike zone. Yeah. And sometimes it's a MLB player tournament or like a cricket tournament. But at the end of the day, it's just like, all right, what are we eating for dinner? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited for this one because we're doing the, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and and Katie has a friend coming to town, so I think I'm hoteling it, and mm-hmm. I'm like a full time player, and I th- I think we're gonna get so many more funny moments and like levity in this game. Yeah, I think everyone's gonna go into it thinking, you know, it's not blitz ball, it's not hockey, which is very competitive in its nature. They're gonna think that, and then once you get on the floor, people are every team's gonna think, I think we can win this thing. Yeah. I posted a clip of your funny hidden ball trick that that doesn't come out till June, but I've spoiled it for that one clip. And when, before we aired, you said like that game was intense. Yeah. 
And I said, oh, pa pause. Because Luke was saying that too because he was down on the floor playing. Me and Jake are up in the booth. I had no idea it was intense for you guys. Really? Because we're just laughing right. the whole time and like making jokes and we're talking about it like, oh, they should do this or this. And like, you know. But you do the hidden ball trick and there's some other gaffes. And uh, yeah, and I think that's what happened with What's What Battle 3 a lot where I would check in with the loft. Mm -hmm. How is it going? And they'd be like, amazing. Like, this is so cool. And then I'd check in with the players and they'd be like, yeah, oh, it's kind of intense. It's a little, yeah. too, little too intense. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited when all the players see the final because, like, Moylan brings so much levity. But, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize. I would have guessed that you guys were kind of, like, just playing. Not, like, intense. But the report from all the players was no. Like it, And my, even my dad, who was watching down there, he felt right. it. He was like, no, it was yeah. really intense. Like, everyone yeah. wanted to win. My dad's friend who came and watched. That's my favorite way to play is when you first pitch, you think it doesn't matter. So there's no nerves. And then by the end, it's building and building. And you're like, oh, I, I need to win this game. Yeah. Or I'm going to be sad. That's the that's like the what we've built that's really hard personality-wise to find people that can. Yeah. No, I want to win. No, but I'm not going to be an asshole as, yeah. I, as I try to win. It is and I can make so jokes hard. while doing it, which even sometimes I get lost in that. Yeah. Um. And like where Jake's better at bringing the humor, you're good at being in it serious and joking. Sometimes, like when I watch your like floorball interviews, I'm like, I gotta do a little more of like coming away from intense strategy or thought. But I get super into yeah. it. Yeah, we I think we haven't really established that line fully because everyone is on a different side of that. Like how much you can't tell people you can't be intense, but you can't be too intense. You and you can't, you can't fake being like we've had people come in and try to entertain. not try and entertain and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Com competing is more entertaining than entertaining. Yes, for sure. Yeah, and you just have the side of you're like actually if, entertaining. Like w when we have Rose and and Darren and the full bro uh, Darren doing ball and play and full broadcast, I'd rather tell the players don't worry about being funny at all. Right. We got that in other places. Yeah. But when we're doing one inning, we're on mic. It's like that's where the blend is really there. Like much harder to find. Like you got to entertain while doing this. Yeah, which is what you do in your TikTok, though. So. Yeah, how tell people how long it takes you to make a TikTok? I think they'd be surprised. In total, a wiffle ball TikTok probably. I mean, we record in batches, but they're like six or eight hour shoot days, and then each edit's probably like an hour or two hours. For one video. For one video. Sixty second. 30. 30 second? Yeah. So a lot of decisions. Yeah. I bet there's some areas on the margins to just... Definitely. I'm a... Technically, I'm kind of a quick editor, but I like to really think out every... Like, if I do this, will people come with this? What... Oh, yeah. If you I'm wearing to. this shirt, is that gonna... Like, what shirt am I wearing? That's gonna get comments. If it ends on a hit, that normally gets less views. So I'll start with a strike, then end with a hit at the last. So people... Like, just stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I I had to like do that with Prizeman uh, a lot. Like f figure out what you think the commenters are gonna say yeah. and try to steer it away. Because my least favorite thing is when there's some small controversy that doesn't affect the game at all. Yeah, and didn't didn't affect the gameplay, didn't affect the jokes, but you know if you leave it in. That's ninety percent of the comments are gonna be that one thing. So like it's like if I um, if I say a player pronounce a player's name mm -hmm. wrong, some people like that because you get engagement. But I'm like, no, I want to hear what people say. It like think about the video. Yeah. So with Tom, I was like, he's better. He's good at it now. But early on, I was like, you have to preemptively think what's gonna be the main takeaway here. Yeah. And he's been sometimes he's guessed. He really likes the content. That's the hardest thing with editors. Uh, Tom and, and Rob, they're fans of the warehouse. Mm -hmm. So they love all the like interviews and the personalities. And I'm like, hey, everyone skips these. Yeah. Like, we have to like tighten these up. And they're like, what? It's so good. Like, that's why like the after the last out, there'd be like five minutes of like post game. And I was like, well, now we'll do it on the back end. Prizeman's yeah. directing the full pre and post for ball and play. Nice. So it's like a change of pace for him. But he likes that stuff. Yeah, it's tough when you're so in it to stop thinking about the 30,000 people that will watch it and think about the million people that were trying to get to watch it. 
Yes, and the people, and it's like riding that line of we want new people to come. But, yeah, which I'm excited about having like the cricket players, and we have some other guests coming. But it'll be competitive because most of the teams have us on it, and this is yeah. our first franchise. I guess floorball was a franchise because we had we got ice and and forgotten rotten, and baggage was only only three. Yep. Yeah. Office wasn't. Office, uh, Temple, and... Warm Burners. Warm. Temple. Floorball Bullies. Was that the oh, Broad, yeah, Street. Broad Street Bullies. Um, but this one, for Ball and Play, that's coming up, we have... Well, the way the viewers are going to watch it on the Warehouse Games channel is all of May is Blitzball Battle 3, and they're going to be like into that. It's so good. I hope people watch it. Yeah. It's an amazing product. And then it ends, championship game, and then the next week is what we just filmed yesterday, what I just posted. And then when the next week is what we're filming tomorrow, and then the tournament starts. So it's a nice quick tournament to ball and play. Yeah. And that's why we're using the two weeks in between. It was actually the ball and play was going to start right after. And we're like, no, I need to give them like a, a, a change of pace. Like, oh, yeah. new game. Yeah. But when we start the tournament, baggage, pinstripe strong, we got ice, forgotten run, hook line sinker. I love you. Love you. All six teams That's were awesome. just in Blitzball Battle 3. So it's like, oh, I get it. We're building like a reality show franchise. Yeah. That's going to set good tempo for now every tournament's going to have. Yeah. You're going to know the teams. Yeah. And then I think also before floorball gets released, we'll make sure we have two weeks of training sessions mm -hmm. with the, to like lead into mm -hmm. that. That'll be fun. And in between, we'll do a ton of hit track shit. Yeah. Yeah. I have two questions for you, and then the chat asked some. Nice. Uh, what was your conversation like with Zoe when you first asked him to do it with you? I assume that you asked him. He, I don't really remember. We did a college sports radio show together and with one of our other buddies. So we had been talking sports, and that was the Nats, Astros, World Series year. So we'd gotten really into baseball, talking about that a lot. It was called Jack Sports with Jack and the Other Guys. <laughs> kind of like one inning pretty good title yeah. team jack um so we we talked baseball so then and then we were really into the red Sox that next year so we had talked baseball just together so then when i was starting a baseball thing we kind of had already had that thing but i don't know i think he was just like yeah i'm down we did i think we did like six weeks of an audio only podcast so it was pretty we were just kind of it wasn't an intense jump into content right and when you started that, was the idea like, oh, we're going to get 760,000 followers or no? Uh, I think when we started, it was kind of following examples of other sports startups. So we were like, oh, let's try to have a baseball podcast. And then we realized like no one wants to hear a two 20-year-olds talking yeah. about baseball. So we, we got to do something else. And do you want to do long form talking again like if we get the studio at the warehouse and you mm -hmm. guys have like a little home to do a we got ice show because i don't like you scrapped it because the numbers were so much better than the other videos but i think i talked to diversa like i don't think that show was going to be successful on that channel just based on what the viewers right. subscribe for yeah but i would think it could be successful somewhere else if you were like still an itch you wanted to scratch also good easy like yeah. banter like to do your own version of jjr where you have right. topics and or like you know basement um yard yeah yard where they are doing short form in long form yeah i it's definitely an option lorenzo really wants to do that he really liked the we get i show i i'm really interested in like youtube content and like dynamic mid form so some of it is commentary some of it is in the warehouse like we go on a trip and a lot of like 15 minutes baseball-ish storytelling with like heavily edited stuff so i'm more focusing on that and then i have a big issue where i can only think about one thing at a time mm. so if i'm working on this commentary video i can't sit down in the studio and like riff because i'm gonna i just can't do that yeah i'm good at that yeah i have a brain that like is constantly like eight tentacles deep yeah but it's hard and i'm also worried about like oh if we use this bit here then that like this would have been perfect for a wiffle ball video and stuff oh but like you that. gotta remember like people don't watch and yeah and then people that and then people that do know it it's an inside joke right and yeah. that just is stickier yeah 
I always say like you want if two people are watching together. So say I'm showing you another show, and I nudge you and I go, "Oh yeah, they always say that." Yeah, that's like what you want. You want one guy to show his buddy, right? And then he feels like he's in on it. Like, oh, yeah, that's well, you're, you're gonna like this next segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or also, I think that I think it could get numbers, especially from like John Boy Media fans. I think would like that type of show. I'm really trying to figure out how to get our social media following onto YouTube. And I yeah. feel like that's not with a long form show. So I well, think once we have our YouTube's drawn pretty well, once we have like that mid range content with short form, and then say we start another channel with the long form, that'd probably ease my mind a lot. I would say try to think of it as just getting a new YouTube show. Cause I think it's really hard to get people to transfer over. It is. And yeah. you guys already had success on YouTube, which is like, I thought you would, but that's scary. Like a lot of yeah. people don't go from TikTok, Instagram to YouTube. Right. We were really lucky at the very beginning that I posted everything on all socials. Yeah. Cause you talk to some people that just have an Instagram following and they can't monetize it and they can't get people yeah. to go to long form. And you guys are also lucky or smart that your first it's you. It's not like you posting right. other clips. Cause those channels, it's really hard to, I'm giving you, um, you know, highlights or, or viral videos and then now here's my face yeah yeah so you're lucky that you started with like it was your content because people then like you not just the posts yeah does that make sense yeah we also got pretty lucky that you like our videos work really well on youtube and tiktok not as much on instagram so it's an easier like yeah we're just gonna move focus to youtube yeah we should talk about putting some of the videos on um Twitter now that uh, like the main Twitter or and then you guys can embed it because now that's in monetization and yeah. there's been some like crazy big wins vertical though or would have to no read? you'd have to do it non vertical so they don't run ads on non vertical but right. I mean like taking like the home run derby like the YouTube clips oh YouTube yeah yeah, yeah. and just taking it 20 30 seconds yeah and then Kyle finds the right time slot because we had I mean uh, that video of Dan from the warehouse. Twitter's kind of crazy right now, and we're trying to like crack the algorithm. Let me see how many like views do you think that video did? It's uh, Dan catching in the Dale Scott video, and oh, yeah. takes the ball off his neck. Maybe it's just this one, or did we post it from John Moore Media? Do you know? Is it where? I don't know. I think it's warehouse. No, it's, it's warehouse games. I mean, guess three hundred. No. So six point four million impressions. I was gonna guess that. 6.4? Yeah. 320 views. Thousand what? views. 320,000 views. And you get paid per impression? So the way it works is because we're in Twitter studio and we can monetize videos. If we say, hey, run ads on this video, then th they promote it. Right. So they're like, cool. We're going to put this through our algorithm. And then if it shows some signs of taking off, they just keep throwing it in their algorithm. And we've had videos that don't have like crazy engagement. But make this made us. Should I say it, Maddie? It's a very odd, rare number. One, two, a trillion dollars. Five figures. I'm not good with figures. Five. The comma would it. go here. Nice. Double digit thousands. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the second highest we've ever had. Is and, this like Twitter? And there's experiment a huge cliff after the top three. We're like, it's like 60 bucks, 200 bucks. Right. But this made a ton That's of money. crazy considering TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram monetization is bad. So that's what we're trying to figure out. Like, like that's where you can find wins. Yeah. Because Twitter is throwing us into the algorithm every now and then. Mm -hmm. and this video, it does have four quote tweets, 20 retweets, that's 483 a likes. So that's good because there was a Gaga's that was 10 seconds long and did similar revenue or more revenue. Yeah. I think, it, and like, it's just cause they're throwing it. So we're trying to crack this right now. Like we're trying to like be like, okay, yeah. what do they like? Cause if we can put more of our own original IP that we have the rights to, so we should talk to Kyle and Taylor about, it also helps promote. Yeah. I mean, guys. if we're doing a 50 minute YouTube video every week, that's a bunch of clips. Bunch. Yeah. Yeah. And with Blitz about a three coming up. And we don't, we don't clip out our YouTube videos. We film separate short form. So that's all unseen yeah. footage. No, mm -hmm. we should be using them one to promote 
the main video on on like the John Boy Media Twitter account, yeah. and then monetize them as well. Because mm-hmm. when you monetize yeah. them, not everyone. I think if you follow the account, you don't. Yeah. Get the ad. You may sometimes, but not every time. Yeah, and you can choose. Yeah, and it's four seconds. You can skip it. Yeah. yeah. If it, our latest video, it's tic tac toe board strikes, and there's just a clip of the four pitches, and then whoever wins at the end. Mm-hmm. That'd be good. The yeah. drip. You got me pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, Dan Rourke's first time behind the plate. Probably will be his last. And him just, it's like a montage of him just getting beat up. Yeah. Yeah. The oh, other, yeah. I was going to change the subject. So. What are you changing it to? Science. Yes. Math. Um, you were good at math? Yeah. Yeah. The Blitzball won. Mm-hmm. You guys came, drove down, right? You were told that. I forget if it's if you beat baggage yeah. or if you won the whole thing. Beat baggage. When game one, we were the first game yeah. of the tournament. That the you would get hired. Around. Right. We would get hired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How they much are, of that was contracts in there? Yeah, yeah, that's what I assumed. Yeah. But okay, I was just curious. That was a bummer when we lost. Right. Because it wasn't real, but I was also like, oh, that kind of ruins that story. Yeah. But we wanted to win. Yeah. Those but games I, were it so It felt bad. like you were throwing us a little bit of a bone. Like, fail safe in case we beat you. There's a story to come out of it. Yeah, it would have been cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was throwing us a bone. Like, we win out of this. <laughs> Even if, hey, Jake, yes. if we lose, the right. company gets a story. Like yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. That's what we knew. And we were like, oh, we, they gave us an out and we lost. Yeah. People that would be like wild. those videos. But game one. But like, if you watch them now, just like the editing, the cameras, the warehouse, it's just not as... The movement slower. Yeah. The pace is slower. One inning league is the. Tr- I think the first one inning league is the craziest tournament. Yeah. That many games. That many games. Zoe and I because he wasn't even originally in it. Yeah. So I was planning on driving up. Yeah. For every game, just by myself, for like six weeks, playing and the, like I'd just drive up. We'd leave at like four in the morning. I'd drive up, chug a energy drink play a game in an abandoned warehouse, and then drive home. And get home at like 3 in the morning. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And I lost in the final. Yeah. yeah. Swept. That stunk when I was like, oh, someone said like that money would have paid your rent. I was like, ah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I made more money from that than the second one inning league, which we won. Yes. So it was... Because we did the money like per home run, per yeah. or whatever. And, and my stats were insane. Pot. And you got, and it was it was too confusing though. I don't know if we're yeah. doing money for ball and play league. I'd rather do like a charity or. It's not the driving force, and it's not doing anything for the like clickability anymore. Yeah, it is nice to give back to the players, but that would be the only reason is to like, like I don't know if like it's wor- it, the storyline of it is stale. Yeah, I think one inning league's the best because no one is competing for the money. Yeah, but if you win. Here's a, here's a grand a, each is thousand dollars. Yeah, that's what I think we should do. But like the famous players, they can like donate to a charity. Yeah, we we'll just give it to the team, and the team splits it how they see fit. Yeah. So I think Trev has always divvied it out to crew right. and, and people that helped and stuff like that. Yeah, that might have hurt the money too, where it's Trev winning it two yeah. times. Yeah, it's also just no like cares. you know, Mr. Beast kind of ruined that game for everyone else. Yeah. By giving hundred thousand or nothing, right? Every time. Um, Matty, anything else on the list that uh, we have to talk about? There's a good amount on the list. There's also some questions for Jack from the chat. I what do rapid do you... fire questions. All right, this is rapid fire questions with Jack. Segment. Uh, pretty obvious answer. Better feeling: winning one inning league or not losing the Easter egg hunt. One inning league. How do you all figure out times to send out content? I've seen a shit ton of charts online, and I've used a few in the past, but I'm curious how you do it. TikTok, 3.30 or 6.30. And is that because kids get home out of school? Yeah, I think also our, I started doing that, and now our algorithm is yeah. baked into that. Uh, Jimmy, has the warehouse paid for itself from yet all of the content? That was not English. It could have. Yeah. If we didn't invest into the tech and yeah. the space as much as we have. But, I mean, we just bought new floors. Yeah. And we have, like, a news-level booth yeah. in the loft. Yeah. So, but With that's no on purpose. If we, if, if we were like, this is a break-even operation, it could have, like, with the sponsorships. And it's 
needs to grow more. But I saw someone like shit talking us on Instagram. They're like, not to be rude, but how does this like this? You don't get any views. How does this earn money? And I was like, the channel got eight million views in year one. It's pretty good. Yeah, you got to think about it as a think about the league, not as individual episodes, and it'd change your mindset. Because in three days, we filmed this many videos, and in in those three days, we filmed. 4 million views or or 2 million views. Yeah. You want the individual we want it all to go up, obviously. Obviously. And you want them to get like more views yeah. every episode. Yeah, but, but if Battle 3 gets like 60k an episode, that's a lot of total. A views. lot of views, 17 episodes. Yeah. How are the sticky strike zones constructed? Rat traps, non-toxic. And then we just tape them onto the zone. That's something I did really early on, just like in my backyard. And I'd throw bullpens to it. And those videos did pretty well. So mm -hmm. we brought it back. A lot of our ideas are ideas I did way, way early that now we have the resources to make better. You should just watch Tom and Jerry cartoons. Yeah. For inspiration, nonstop. Yeah. You'd probably run into a lot of ideas. Probably. Yeah. A cat strikes on? Mouse yeah. strikes on? Jimmy, are you curious or nervous, sorry, about the direction of Twitter, not talking politics, but all the shifts in algo, Twitter, blue, favoritism, and feed, et cetera? Uh, as a consumer, it stinks. You don't like dead things? No, I don't like watching people get killed all the time. Yeah. Uh, as a media company, it's better. Probably, yeah. They're, the making, an, just... they're making an algorithm, right. and, that, and they're paying creators. That was what that was the one thing Elon said. We want to pay creators when they make content on our platform, so people make content because it wasn't monetizable forever. Yeah, but no, I mean we st and we still for like breakdowns the the views that they get on Twitter count towards what we sell. We sell people just look at the YouTube numbers. So like I had a cricket breakdown get two hundred k on YouTube, but on Twitter it got. 500 mm -hmm. just we we add them all together yeah. certain videos get that treatment yeah what's the breakdown number you like scoff at because even i mean it's crazy number like even 200k is like a crazy amount of youtube views yeah i don't that that's like uh under 100 is not throw good. up in your mouth a little yeah um that doesn't happen that much anymore yeah but it can some of the new if it's a baseball video i want it to reach over 500 yeah but i'm not upset if it doesn't but i might be upset if it's under 350 on youtube but then it could blow up other places and and certain things like i know are going to be bigger on other forums and youtube's going to be lower yeah and that's fine yeah sometimes it serves another purpose but if it's like, this is a YouTube crushing baseball breakdown, it normally does well. Yeah. And if it has an ad, I'll save that for like one I know is going to do more yeah, views. A fight. But we just sold our first breakdown. The one Segway. I, yeah. The one I did for no, for paid per view. So usually the way it works is you say, we can guarantee we're going to get this amount of views and you pay this CPM mm -hmm. price point. And if we, if we don't get it, we like owe you on the next one or we'll make or do it on the next one. And then that kind of stinks because I have to do more content for yeah. money. So we just sold our first one of shady rays that, um, they paid per view, like a CPM set, whatever after 30 days or 60 days, I don't know the day, whatever the views are on the, on the main four, they're going to pay the, for that with a cap. And the cap was 1.4 million. And I hit the cap in 12 hours. Damn. But I also like put my face on the screen. What? Put the glass. In. Yeah. They they paid for four videos? No, no, no. One, One video. video. But it goes Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Oh, okay. And it's the, you know, all those combined. And 1.4 million views was, was the, the max. Cap. Okay. So, yeah. So if I did, if it was a stinker and only got yeah. 400 we'd get a lot less money, mm -hmm. but they're going to pay per view up until 1.4. And the coolest thing is the sales team sold it as a window where I had all of April to get it out. So it was like, okay, the best one that comes around 
Yeah. I'm going to give the shady rays. That's really smart. Yeah. And I put my face in, put my face in it and made it like a interesting advertisement. I did that last time we did shady rays and it's got 700,000 on YouTube right now, but I posted it. I believe when did we post that Sunday night on Twitter. Yeah. What breakdown are we talking about? Tipping pitches. Mm. And also Trev texted it to me and he was like, I'm going to tweet this. I got this for you. I'm going to tweet it. And I was like, Hey, I have this deal where we're paying per view and tipping pitches do really well. Do you mind? And he was like, no, I'll take it. And I was like, I'll shout you out and all that. He's like, just take it. I'm like, all right, cool. Nice. Cause I was waiting for a brawl or like a big ejection. Yeah. I, I like the pay-per-view as a creator more because it puts a little more pressure on and pressure. Yeah. And then when you deliver, it's like a big win when you just post an ad, it's not really a win. Yeah. But if you get the average up, right. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it a little a bit of a game. fail safe. Like There's we, all different ones. Like DraftKings, I have to send for approval. Yeah. So I can't give like, it's hard to give them in the moment once or like, if I'm like, I need to get this out right away. It's hard. And they used to be before approval. They, they used to be my in the moment one. So they would get the best breakdowns all the time. And then when they changed it to needing approval, they're like, Hey, we, the average is dipped. And we're like, yeah, I can't give you the ones that are like Sunday night baseball just had an ejection. And I put it out two hours after. Right. Cause you're not awake at 1 AM and they're like, Oh shit. So then they're like, okay, we'll do two quick turnarounds or whatever. That video on Twitter has, Six hundred and eighty-seven thousand views. I don't even know the other two, but yeah. So that was cool. That was the first time we sold like that. It'd be cool to do that more. Yeah, seems like it's a win for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I just gotta be careful. Like the cricket videos, I know those aren't gonna do great. So those, it's a hundred k. Right. And right now, I have two out there that are under. But I changed the headlines to make. I put the players names and the team name so like it would pop up and one recently is doing because i think all india just woke up what time is it in india right now no it's night time yeah it has to be yeah time in india is 705 so night time so i don't know what happened here but it now has one of these uh breakdowns has 90 retweets and i'll probably reshare some quote tweets or engage with it to get it over 100 because visually on twitter that's the number yeah. i like 100 retweets yeah. yeah but I, th I think we had one that did sometimes the twitter numbers are nuts a lot of twitter followers yeah yeah that's climbing right now too but it, it, i it climbed i got a ton so that's why i felt bad because there's like so many different like obstacles with the breakdowns like i, I did the I did the India versus Australia test matches mm -hmm. and one video, I think I've shared this. I don't know if I shared this in the morning. 400,000 people watched it that had never watched John Boy Media YouTube channel before. That's awesome. The first, so it's the biggest amount of new viewers we've ever had on a one single video. And then 40,000 of them came back in another session and watched more. So that's like, Huge numbers. Yeah. So even though the video probably didn't break a million, it's the uh, Ashwin Toys with, or are you on it? It's one of those. No, scroll down, scroll down. It's, um, it's, what's that one on the left? What's that say? Ashwin Toys with Marnus, then bowls out Smith. Or on the very right. Steve Smith gives bowler thumbs up, then gets bowled out. Which one of those has more views? Second one. The Steve, Steve. Smith one? Yeah. How I many views does it have? 620. Nice. 620? So yeah. 400 of the 600 were first-time viewers. That's great. Steve Smith is Australian? Yeah. With a lot of Australian views? Indian. Right. They love YouTube. And that got 106,000 on Twitter, but 128 retweets. So that's where like, I just judge them completely differently. If it's not baseball, yeah. it's, like, it's just such a different gauge. And yeah. also people are like, like someone commented today and it makes me more upset than it should. Like, baseball's back. Stop doing this shit. Mm. I'm like, you don't watch it. Serving a pretty big purpose. We have six professional cricket players coming to the warehouse. Yeah. I feel like the breakdown is the perfect content where you can easily pick and choose. Like, oh, is this title? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to watch it or not? Yeah. Yeah. 
It's, and then we did like things you missed is a fun way to combine like five yeah. that people aren't going to click on their own. Like, uh, you know, woman's ice hockey. Yeah. That's going to get, that's not going to get a hundred K views on its own. No, it would have to be like a brawl or like a, a, someone threw a bottle on the ice yeah, or yeah. something crazy, but just like a general look at this cool ending to this game is not going to do that. But if I combine four of them, they have been getting 100. Yeah. That's cool. That's a cool series. I wanted you guys to do that first. Remember? I stole yeah. it back. Yeah. We wrote it out a little bit, but it was so different then. It ended that. up being the easiest way I can do it. Because yeah. I had you guys doing it like at Anchor, so I got a desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like going back and forth. We were trying to figure out how to make it more about us. And I think it does work better more about... Yeah, like yeah. The kind of, It's like mini breakdowns. You have to remove yourself, but also not fully. Like I was saying, like people yeah. come for your wiffle ball pitches, but you're throwing them. They're not coming for just wiffle ball highlights from around the globe. Oh, like yeah, everyone yeah. just sends you their like it's still you. Yeah, and our our most popular comment is either let Lorenzo pitch or like why did he say that? Like that's such a weird thing he said. Yeah, and I think so that's what stupid. makes people follow. That, yeah, it used to bug me a lot when people would laugh at the joke, but then say that's so stupid. I'm like, what yeah. it was intended to be. Right. You laughed. Yeah. I, I think That's I like that now. I like it now, too. I've, I've come to accept it. Yeah. Early on, I was like, what? I like being a mystery because it hides bombs. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. He's, oh, he's just joking. Yeah. Yesterday, Nikki and Sam were laughing because I was being really obnoxious. And Nikki said, you think you're so fucking funny. And I said, both of you are laughing. And then he was like, kind of a joker. Oh, fuck. <laughs> sounded like the joker. A yeah. So your guys are laughing. Yeah. Maddie, what do you want to go to next on my sheet here? Your media appearances. Oh, yeah. You were, well, Jake and I were on Fox 5. Did you watch it? Yep. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did on Twitter. Oh, you watched the clips we put out? I don't think that was, was the, the full, full thing. thing. Oh. I don't think so. I didn't watch it. It was literally late. It was like 11 at night. Yeah, I was asleep already, but. But they were really nice. That was cool. They yeah. came here and film, chatted with us. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my dad and I are going on an Apple TV documentary about Game 7s. Because my dad was at the Boone walk-off. And the 10th ever episode of Talking Yanks, I chatted with every member of my family. Like my sister, my sister, Luke, my dad, my mom, my grandma, Katie. Just 20 minutes. My grandma told the story of when she met Babe Ruth, and my dad told the story of like being at game two really cool games. He was at the Aaron Boone game seven. And somehow the producers found that. Interesting. It's like a hundred views, tenth episode of Talking to Yanks, terrible mic, but and then they asked if me and my dad would join to be part of the documentary. Boone's in it. They already interviewed Boone. So that's it's like cool. a real documentary. That's awesome. Yeah. And it's about Game 7s, not that Game 7. I think it's a series. And that's one And episode. that episode is about that one. I think. Yeah. We're not going to be on camera, though. It's just audio only, but it is a documentary, so it'll just say, like, voice of. So it's kind of like what I was saying at the beginning of the show. Interesting. For you. Yeah. You think you'll have to do this? Yeah. Oh, my God. was there. <laughs> my dad's excited about it. That's why I was like, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty hard. I make Tom's job kind of hard. I'm trying to make it easier these days because I don't like doing media or appearances or Do, I mean some of them have to excite you uh, no <laughs> because then you have to worry about time. how it's gonna go or no, time. It's time I was excited to do the cracked interview that I did because it's I not a that. sports that really website good. yeah it's a it's like a different website so it's not our audience um yeah he, he asked me recently if I would go on Seth Myers. I think their producer reached out and I said no, our board a while ago said, like, tried to tell me I had to do talk shows and yeah. shit. And I was like, what? Like, I don't think that, like, really helps. And it's kind of like, you know, you go there, it's a half a day or full day. Yeah. It's like a lot of time. Uh, so I was always like, nah. But now, uh, one, make the board happy to, like, make Tom's job a little easier. And if there's value in it, for sure. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't watch Seth Myers. Are they going to have you do, like, Oh, can you do a lip reading of me yelling at the crowd? Or like if break I was on down Fallon, they would do that, right? Break down me putting sugar in my coffee. <laughs> I feel like that's what it would be. Yeah, I don't know. I'll ask. I can text Hater Bill Hater and ask him. Yeah, to you know, make sure it sounds nice. Right. 
Maybe you guys are going together. Kimmel watches the breakdowns or watched back day. Like when Bill Hader reached out, he was like, me and Kimmel always send them to each other. That's crazy. Yeah. But I'll go on. It's in New York, right? Seth Myers. I, I think. I don't know if I have an update on that one. But I said, yeah, I didn't say no off the bat. Right. But originally, Fox wanted Jake and I in studio on uh, Saturday or Sunday night. And I was like, nope. Yeah. And Saturdays are like a – Fridays are a, a, my calendar is like X'd out. And it's I just wake up and do breakdowns all day. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like a, like a hermit. And that's like a, like a mental – like uh, like a glass of water, like for my like yeah mentally, like oh I got stuff done. You think the train home from doing Seth Meyers wouldn't would that motivate you to make a bunch of good breakdowns the next day? You yeah, be like on yeah, that's right? another part of the oh, pressure. You have like, to schedule them out. Same if you have a hit, right? So like yeah, even this show, like we had Trey Turner, and it was like thirty k, and I was like, man, like, what do we do to follow that up? Yeah, and he was like, get Jack, and yeah. I was like, no, yeah, that's no. Well, we found the title, Seth Meyers. Yeah. On morning. And you can edit me. Yeah. yeah deep fake Seth Myers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I used to always think about that. And when you see the returning viewers, new returning viewers. Yeah. But most people on YouTube just go, and I do it, like videos, most popular. Right. What's the best this channel has to offer? Yeah. And that's why the, the Rich Stay Rich, the ear pulling video, is going to be my number one video forever. Yeah, that's wild. It's like 20 million views on YouTube. You think that's a one in a million, or are you drawn to do more? Like, oh, this is a weird. Thing. No, I we like so that's the problem. I and I want a- Andrew to help and have breakdown producers, and that because last year I said it, I need to do non baseball even during baseball season. But yeah. last year was a mess, and I and I didn't. But I always get lost, and then I don't do them, and then it's like off season yeah. baseball season. But I feel like that's a separate category. Like there's baseball, there's non baseball, and then there's ear pulling contest. So Luke, when he was my breakdown producer when he was the third employee and he was an intern, he did that. He handed me all, like I did a whole stretch of fun sport Friday, like weird sports. Mm-hmm. And it was just cause he was like finding them, grabbing the footage and giving it to me like do this. And then I didn't, I don't have that. But if you look at, I was just explaining this to someone else, maybe Joe's. Have you done a cheese rolling one? No, I've too violent. I've, no, no, I've prepped them before. Or maybe I have done one. If you look at the top 50 videos, Probably, I'm going to use bad math here, or fake numbers. Probably 85% of all the breakdowns, which is like 5,000 at this point or something, are MLB, right? Mm-hmm. right maybe 3,000? Yeah, I think it's not as up to 5,000, but 85% seems accurate. How many How many breakdowns do you think I've done? I mean, on John, the number of videos on John Boy Media's channel, I thought was at like 1.1K or something. So then, one, well, it's mostly so then like 1,000. I did 29 in the last four weeks. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, videos is 2.2K videos on John Boy Media. So I would say 2,000 of those are breakdowns. Mm-hmm. Well, and then I would, videos. Yeah. A very high amount of videos. Eight, 85% are MLB videos. Mm-hmm. But probably of the top. 50 or top 20 videos all time probably 50 probably 40 percent aren't mlb videos yeah because the lifespan is just much higher right it's it's an interesting situation because the channel if you're a first-time viewer isn't branded as baseball yeah the fans are branded as baseball fans yeah but most of the people that watch them aren't even baseball fans right they're just story they're sports fans but the baseball does better but they just know me as this guy's good at explaining baseball yeah but it takes a while to break into that. Do you prefer compliments about a good analysis or good humor on a breakdown? Analysis. Humor is just because I'm talking casually, I right. think. You just like, I don't like, like you, you'll plan joke. I don't ever plan right. a joke. It, I think it's just because like Taylor was showed her dad a video for the first time and she said he was laughing. And I was like, I did I say any jokes? And she said, no, it's just you're so casual walking through this. Like, and then because yeah. I was just like, JT's like that's embarrassing. You should be embarrassed. But in my head, that's not really a joke. I'm just right. telling you what I yeah. think they're thinking. I think to that to an older generation too, or even a normal age generation, they're used to announcers being so professional. Even yeah. you just being like, oh, how wrote? It's they're just like, like that's super ridiculous. casual. Yeah. yeah, no analysis for sure, or mm-hmm. editing. If I get comments right. on like this is edited well, because yeah. it takes a while, and like 
that tipping pitches one for Kopech, I spent a full day in my head. How do I tell this story? Do I show the swings first? And, and do I show them the tip first, then, then say play along? Or do I show them the inning and like, look at this, look at this. Yeah. And at the end say, and this is how they did it. Like, what's the gotcha? And like, what's the first, second, and third act of telling this? Right. I spend a lot of time on that. So there was a compliment. My favorite like compliment recently was the woman's basketball handshake line. Mm-hmm. Where someone on Twitter said something like, uh, this is why Jimmy is masterful. He told us all the characters' names at the beginning, and you thought he was just being silly. But the je- the end punchline was, you needed to know that info to get it. Did you watch that one? Did I show you that one? You Did show I showed me, it to yeah. you? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that took me, like when that, like I wrote that in my head. Yeah. Because at first I wrote it, and I just had the dad saying, Tanner. But I was like, oh, people don't know that's his actual name. Right. So then I was like, I got it. So I like compliments about like the writing or editing the yeah. best. Do you physically write or write an outline or all in your head? All in my head. I just have the videos. I'm like, ah, oh, say that there, say that there, say that there. Hmm. And I'll run into things that I've never said. Like I ran into a guy who had a weird haircut. He actually responded. He was like, the rain, God forbid the rain messes up my hair, John boy. But he looks silly. <laughs> no. Where at? But I didn't see it in live time. I was like, what's that guy's hair? Yeah. Like, pause the video. Yeah. Those are like na- very natural. Yeah, that's a good system. Set, naturally setting yourself up for Improv. spontaneity. Yeah. yeah. Spontaneity? Spontaneity. No. Stone Cold Killer wins the 2012 ear pulling contest. 21 million views. The next is 10. Four of the top 10 are uh, not baseball, which is exactly the 40%. Boom. I think the it's a weird one. I think the first breakdown I ever watched was you breaking down your own break base running. That was a while ago. Yeah. When I say uh, it looks like I'm trying to move the earth. Yeah. One of my friends showed that to me. That's funny. And I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> it's a really bad running. I mean, at that point, that's really brave to do that. I was very unathletic. What? Or I was very out of shape to do to make fun of myself that way. Or like well, put myself make, out there. But even just showing that. Oh uh, well, you know what? We were so small. The channel had that's true, the channel yeah. had two thousand subscribers. That was like literally for yeah. two thousand people. I don't know if I oh, now I do that now because like secure. But on the way up. When the channel was like, you know, going in like, you know, growing and it was like all new. I don't know if I would have done that. Yeah. When that got posted, we didn't have a lot of subscribers at all. I think the channel was actually branded as Talking Yanks. Damn. Not John Boy Media. I didn't know that early. I must have watched it after it was out. I think people found it afterwards. Yeah. But yeah, it's. We like. I'm just going so slow at some points (laughs) when I'm running. Did you ever watch that, Maddie? Yeah. Base running is very mental, too. And I was doing that, and we weren't filming it. We were just in the hotel room, me, Luke, and Jake, and I was making fun of myself. And I'm like, look at how slow. And Jake was laughing, and I was like, all right, let me record this real yeah. quick. Hmm. Oh, I filmed another pilot episode to a show. You can do this. You know how for cash out, I filmed a pilot and gave it to the sales team? Did they like it? So the early response from DraftKings is that they just, they're not, they weren't like, we can't promote cashing out. Right. They were, I think, I heard it through the grapevine, though. I think the response was, if we do this, we have to make sure that the bets you offer are cash out a bull, or like you can, like right. the feature is enabled. Because in the pilot episode, we definitely did something that you can't. Like, and we were like, I was testing limits. So I heard from one, from Luke, that they might be providing us with like, this is the parameters, which I'm like, that's please help me out. Yeah. help us out <laughs> we want to know exactly i don't want to place a bet if i can't cash it out right if you can mm-hmm. give me that list i've been searching <laughs> um so i don't know i that good first they were just trying to like do it but tom said like it was awesome to have a pilot and to have like full like backing from me and be like yep i want to do this i go sell it so then luke tried to sell some to fubo tv remember i tried to do hunt for action mm-hmm. so do you know what that is mm-hmm so I did that for Fubo TV and I, Luke was like, we're going to try and pitch that. And I was up at night and I filmed like a pilot episode and I was like, here you go. Go show them that and pitch it. So that's the new strategy that I'm trying to do to help them out. That's really cool. That's kind of part of the new content role too, where you can do that. Yeah. Like have more time. I mean, this was late, but 
I mean, dude, this is a really fun concept if we can do it. And all the games would be the FUBU games. Yeah, we just I'm on I'm on FUBU TV Sports. And uh, I believe when I used to do this, like if I, I would open it up, like my pitch would be I would open this up with, you know, we can only watch one pitch at a time or one play if we see a home run or we see a touchdown or we see a goal in like our ten seconds, someone wins a free subscription or someone wins a hundred bucks. Mm. It's basically, I like it. It 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 needs to work in a fun way, or like have a quick turnaround. Would this be on Fubo? No, I'd, we'd put it on like our socials and our to our promote to promote them. Gotcha. When you pitch this, do you think they only care about like the idea, or do you also add in the pitch like production? Will this will be different in this, or this will? Be yeah, more I, I think I told the sales team like it'll look it'll look better than this. Yeah, and I don't think I'd stop on a game and just let the, no. the momentum die as much here. Yeah, or I'd. Do this in post, like chop it up. Yeah, but I just kept going. Like I'm sitting there, basically held hostage by this game right now. Right. Is this like one in the morning? Uh, I mean midnight. Yeah, because it's it was two nights ago. Oh, in Pacific Northwest. Yeah, I did. I made. I edit. I made the two cricket breakdowns that came out, and then I was just down there, and like I had the equipment out. All right, that's morning today. What do we do? Like three hours long? Two hours, yeah. Punch. Punchy. Amp. We completed the requirement. Outro song. Do body dee boo ba doo doo bop.